You know, if you go with the majority, acceptance in your life will be a majority. And I tell you this because we must reject all spokespersons who put their own words above biblical revelation and standards and who claim that God accepts immoral behavior and lifestyles among professing Christians. I reject any person. I don't care. You can call yourself a pastor. You ain't no pastor. You're perverting the gospel. The church should never show an openness and tolerating anything that goes against God. Now, really get that on the inside of you today because that'll change your circle. See, here's the deal. Are you just happy to hear me or do you speak the same things I speak? Do you come here and be like, that's a great word, but you won't dare spare it to any of your friends. Your light's hiding under a bushel. But I say, no, I'm going to let it shine. Yeah, I just, you know, I don't want to cause any waves. My friends, it's too late. I did a cannonball in the pool 23 years ago and the waves are still splashing. When I was a kid, my dad used to get up on the diving board and people would stop, time would stand still. He'd be on the high dive and both lifeguards on both sides would lock eyes. And you could tell that they were saying, we're in trouble, we're gonna get wet, big man's up on the high dive. And I'll never forget when he would jump that diving board, that high dive would come down about touch the water, spring him up into outer space, and he would yell with a loud scream, cannonball! Boom, got both lifeguards and everybody at the pool started cheering and chanting and I remember being eight years old like that's my dad that's my dad <laughs> my dad was never ashamed to make a splash in the water or in the church he was willing to do it and we have to be willing to do it <laughs>